Hello and thanks for watching this first video for statisticsworkbook.com. Uh, we're going to begin here with a uh, problem that is looking just at some of the vocabulary that we're going to be using uh, throughout the course. I think in this video I'm only going to address parts A and B of this problem as uh, I suspect they'll take a little bit of time uh, and we'll leave parts C and D for a second and even possibly a third uh, video. So what we're going to look at here is, uh, here we've got a table of information on, on different cars, uh, different attributes of those cars. Let's, uh, let's break down this table into all of its different components. So the problems uh, A and B are both making reference to a data set. So let's first identify what that uh, data set is. In, in this table, uh, our data set is everything that we see here in this, uh, in this rectangle. So here's the data set. This is what we're going to be uh, analyzing. This is what we're going to be studying. Now, the data set is composed of information drawn from various elements. Uh, an element is that one particular object or entity that we, that we are looking at, that we are taking information or we are extracting information from it. In this data set, uh, the elements are described in this first column. Uh, our elements are these uh, different cars, uh, different vehicles that we're looking at. So here we can uh, address part A, how many elements are in the data set. So the number of elements, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So here I have uh, 10 elements. Uh, in this data set. Now, for each of these elements, uh, I have a number of different pieces of information, uh, and those are what we call our variables. So across the first row here, I have the labels of all of our variables. A variable, as I said, it's a unique piece of information uh, that we have for each of the elements. So in this data set, I have information on all of the elements. I have information on engine size, number of cylinders, transmission, number of gears, fuel, vehicle class, city and highway miles per gallon, and model year. So each of those represents uh, one of the variables. Part B here is asking how many variables are in the data set. So if we just count these up, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine variables. Uh, what are they? Here I've circled those uh, all up above there. So that gives us um, somewhere to start uh, with our vocabulary. I actually want to go a little bit further and, and uh, just describe one other thing, uh, and that is uh, what an observation is. Uh, a really common mistake uh, among my students, actually two common mistakes that I often see when asked what an observation is, uh, is that students will often mistake an element for an observation. So I'll say, you know, identify one observation in this data set, and a student might say, oh, the Honda Accord uh, is an observation. Well, as we've just described, that Honda Accord, that's actually one of my elements. That's one of the things that I'm looking at. That's not actually an observation. Another common mistake that I see uh, students make when asked what an observation is, is they'll say, well, this, right, this point right here, uh, this one data point is an observation, or this uh, is an observation. Uh, those are just individual data points within the data set. So then what is an observation? An observation is the complete set of information uh, for any one element. So if I consider our, our uh, Bentley, so here's our Bentley, right? That's the element. And for that element, I have information on all of these variables. So this here, let me just erase this circle for to avoid any confusion. This, what's in the pink rectangle, represents the observation that corresponds with the Bentley car. Uh, and 
and that's it. That's all we need to know. So we've got we've got our data set. It's comprised of information extracted from ten elements across nine variables. And here we have individual observations, a complete set of information across each variable for each element. Okay, so I hope that that will make sense. Uh, we're going to be using this terminology quite a lot throughout the course, uh, so hopefully this gives us a good place to start. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here, and uh, we'll pick up again uh, on part C, where we look at different measurement scales uh, of each variable. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully see you again soon. Okay, bye.